up everyone it's your boy welcome back to the video today's video we got oh my god i don't care what anyone says mannequin cat is an ftk let's go i'm gonna show you guys right now why you need to take advantage of this card shout out to joshua smith who won the ycs with this card he was playing some crazy stuff like thunder king two minutes Esta, Barbanado, whatever it's called I discovered something that's even crazier. So you need to stay tuned to the end of the video. It doesn't matter what deck you play. If you play Tear Limit, if you play Sprite, if you play Runic, if you play Bisted, it works with every deck, and I'll show you guys why. So you need to stay tuned to the end of the video to figure this out. Before we get into this video, everyone, make sure to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, and that's my goal, man. I want to hit that within the new year. So smash the subscribe button. Also, go on www.thetripgaming.com and get the most beautiful playmat in the game. We got the Beyond the Pendulum playmat, the Sprite playmat, a bunch of people playmats. Go check it out. Also, shout out to Sleeve Chief where you can get the most amazing sleeve down in the description below. Click the link, get your sleeves. They're absolutely beautiful and sexy. Ask the grab, Mighty Master, all that. Get them to pair the Trip Gaming playmats. And with that being said, let me show you guys the amazing, amazing combos. Let's go. Beauty of this deck is very simple. I, I love this deck. So I'm going to show you guys a one card combo here, okay? This hand's insane. This is going to be pure Sprite, okay, with Bisted. I'm going to show you guys another version later with, uh, uh, this is a one card combo. I'm going to show you guys another version later with Tier Limit. So imagine you open just one Sprite starter and like four hand traps. You could have anything. It's a one card combo. You have anything in your hand. But imagine you're going second, you're going first. It doesn't matter. You can have two level twos, one Sprite Starter, Prosperity, Nimble Beaver, whatever. So this is the idea. So you go blue, jet, get smashers. In this scenario with like all hand traps, I'd probably just search starter because you have more than enough interruptions and you want follow-up. But this gets you the best follow-up. Like look at this, this is absurd. So you go with the Sprite Sprint, everyone knows this, Nimble Angler, Nimble Beaver. This is also why you guys also need to play the Nimble stuff. It makes Sprite Sprint absurd. Now look at this, okay? So you go into the Mannequin Cat. This card's an FTK. So now... How many interruptions is this? <laughs> one sprint, one smashers. Maybe you get Thunder King or two minutes or whatever. It's still good. You have a hand trap. But look at this, okay? Uh, I truly, I'm telling you, this is fucking broken. This blew my mind. So keep in mind, you're also playing Bisted, your hand traps. Okay, look at this. You play 16 hand traps main deck. So you could do this. The way you should play this deck is very simple. You got to play it in a way where it's like, make Mannequin Cap be the end goal. The game plan. What's this say? It says stick to the game plan. What's this say? Pen scales with a big bicep. Let's go. So what you want to do is make this the end goal. That's why you play multiple in the deck. Uh, make it your end goal. Going second, use this to summon cool cards. Like if you want to summon your sprite cards, your bisted cards, get your engines going. That's also why you play bisted, where you can make mannequin get summon the magnum and get your whole engine running. Okay, so now let's say you're going second. Your opponent's playing the bus deck pendulum. So they just went into some plays. They just went beyond the pendulum. They just summoned, they just summoned their boss. They're like, yeah, no problem. No problem. You let them play freely. The second they go beyond the pendulum, it sets scales up. This is what you do. Well, on the sum, sorry, on the summon of beyond the pendulum, you go mannequin cat. Mannequin cat effect. You have four hand traps, just don't forget. Mannequin cat effect. Well, not special. Think of all the, uh, like, what deck plays dark. Like, every deck, tier limit, the best deck, pendulum, uh, any bisted deck, uh, sprite deck, they all play darks, right? You summon none other. Shut up, Chris Lofton Band Man. Fallen of Albaz. Ah! Maybe he was right. Maybe Brandon is best deck. So you go Albaz, okay? <laughs> this is so broken. So you go Albaz with the Beyond the Pendulum, which, by the way, this gets rid of a Link 2. So by itself, it just gets rid of their strong monster. They get rid of a gigantic sprite if they summon a gigantic sprite. It can get rid of anything. Sprite Alf, anything. Doesn't matter. And then you, you use it to summon Mirror Jade. Discard whatever you want. You should get rid of Nibiru because your board's going to be insane. You summon Mirror Jade, and then you get another interruption. So not only do you get the interruption from, from Fallen of Albaz, not only do you get Mirror Jade's interruption of a Banish, but you get Albion to set your branded spells and traps because you're also playing a huge Bisted engine. They synergize so well together, and because Bisteds are hand traps, you treat them as DE Crows, and you actually play like 16 hand traps main deck, Post side deck, you play 23 hand traps, but because seven of them are bisted, it's really 16. So you're not actually like bricking per se. You're playing 23 hand traps post side, 16 in the main, and you still do crazy, like just, and all you need for a combo is one mannequin cat. And then moving forward, turn two, turn three, turn four, you just sprite out back the mannequin cat, and it just so fucking broken. Like by itself, this card breaks sprite, and I can't believe no one realized it. 
So now, on top of that, this is not only interruptions. Like, this is a one card, four interruption combo. One card, four interruptions. Easily, too. Like, it could be any cards in your deck. Then, after this, not only do you have Alba's interruption, which gets rid of their link, or XYZ, you have Mirror Jade, and then you have Sprite Sprint to bounce with Mannequin Cat, because Mannequin Cat does not even need to detach when you special. Only the special for your opponent's graveyard to detach. So this effect can be used multiple times per turn, per, per, per duel, while, while it's uh, up, not per turn. So it's three interruptions, and you also don't forget you search the smashes earlier. So that's four interruptions from one card with four hand traps. That's eight interruptions. On top of that, the end phase, even if they find a way to pl play, play through the four interruptions, let's say you use all your cards to stop them, and this is your end play, okay? That's fine, because Mirror Jade will not clear the entire board. Albion will trigger at the end phase. Like, you clear the whole board for sure. All the interruptions are gone. You got rebranded and branded Beast doing damage with all the Bissed cards. Like, this is... This is insane. Like, and, and, and Albion sets the trap. So if rebranded ever goes to the grave, you could set the trap and use, use the trap on your following turn. And because Bisted cards... You'll always get access to the Bisted cards, even if you don't open it. Because you could go Mannequin Cat, special anything from the opponent's graveyard, special Magnemut, and then you get access to all the Bisted cards every single turn. This is busted. This is busted. Now let's say you play Teal Limit. I'm going to show you guys a deck list of both. Dude, this is I'm a PhD in Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. I'm going to say this moving forward. P I'm a PhD in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's no one in the world that has this much info as I do on Yu-Gi-Oh. Just, I got you guys, man. I love you guys. You guys subscribe to me and support me. Let me live my dream. I got you guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to play it with Tier Limit. And now, this is a Tier Limit combo, which is even more absurd. I'm using this hand over here to showcase how you play Tier Limit with level 2s. So, because your the end goal is always Mannequin Cat. You're going to see cards like Nemesis Flag, Malicious, the, uh, Sprite Glue. The idea of this deck is a Tier Limit deck that focuses on Merly and utilizes cards like amazing level 2s like Nemesis Flag that, tri that synergizes with Malicious and Vista Magnum, Sheeran, Sprites, just watch. This is fucking broken. Like, like this is truly absurd. When you use Mannequin Cat as the end goal, and you make the extra deck so it's capable of playing Fallen of Albaz, it's just insane. Like, it, look at this. Look at, like, these are all free pluses. Free value. The plus twos each. Each of them. If I get, like, the only card to stop, let's say I get nibiru Okay. If I get nibiru Sheeran triggers. You have another Malicious, because Nemesis Flag recycles Malicious, which is, synergizes, synergizes with all the Tillman cards in your deck. Then you just summon Escados, Jet, Magnemot. Like, this is broken. This plays through 19,000 interruptions. And the beauty of Escados and Flag is that in a deck like this with a thousand, uh, like, engines. Look, I talked about it in the last video. They're all different types. It's better than Protoss in this deck. Uh, so anyways, I'm just going to show you guys how the Synergy has Mannequin Cat. What destroys Tier Limit? Bisted cards. What hurts Sprite L? Bisted cards. So you summon Mannequin Cat right away. If they Nibiru right now, I don't give a fuck. Like, if they Nibiru... They're going to Nibiru now before I'm fucking curious. So they Nibiru now. I don't give a fuck. I really don't care. That means that they have a monster. I have a token. Magnema hasn't been used yet. Escados hasn't been used yet. And I'm eventually just going to go Dark, Sprite Elf, bring back the Mannequin Cat, and just do all my combos regardless. Like, it's absolutely insane. So look. And now I'm going to go into Sprite Elf. I'm going to make this. If they Nibiru right now, it doesn't matter. I'm malicious as well. Malicious and Magnema gets Beatrice. Even if I get Nibiru right now, summon Malicious again, special Magnemot, go into Beatrice, and then just go all tier limit combo and Sheeran triggers. This is insane. Like, it's truly insane. So at this point, I go, I go curious now. So at this point, now it truly doesn't matter if I get hit with Nibiru. Now you just use all your tier limit stuff. And if they ever want to use a Bisted, you go Mannequin Cat Effect, because they special a monster, and you special any card you're missing. You could sp you don't need to special Albaz. You could special... Your, your engine that you're missing, a Bisted, a Sprite, a Tier Limit, you can summon Merly, summon whatever you want. And now at this point, it's over for my opponent. Uh, the, what I want to show here is how you utilize Mannequin Cat as the end goal. All this is just bonus shit. Like, it's just bonus interruptions. Like, and look, and you go Escados, because you're playing a bunch of level 2s to synergize with Elf and Sprint, which in this, instead of sending Nimble, you use Sprint to send Merly, you use Escados to pop the Merly at the last play. That's how it synergizes absurdly well, because now Merly will trigger... They cannot summon tier limits. They're locked into tier limits. It's like a 10 to gate combo, actually. And then this triggers to summon Dracos Topalia or Garura because Garura, Dracos, Beatrice will summon a, a, a Dracos Topalia on the opponent's turn. And you get a free draw and you get a Beatrice for free. 
uh, Starling Saper, another card that just synergizes so well with all these cards. Like, this is just absurd. And the fact that my opponent cannot go into Aquas is the crazy. I'm going to use uh, Lupelian to search a Magna Mutt. This is better. And then we're going to go rebranded. I could have used rebranded earlier to draw one. So I even misplayed here. I'm going to have 10 negates and I misplayed. So I'm actually going to draw one card for free because I played that perfectly. I would have drawn a free card from rebranded. Now you end with this, which is 10 negates. And, and they're under two floodgates of they cannot use Aquas. Nice TLM in deck. If they play Sprite, use a Skados to, to pop uh, a Sprite card so they can't summon Sprites. If they're playing Bisted, you use it to pop itself so they can't summon Bisted cards. And you always end on this board no matter what of Smashers and Branded Beast. And Mannequin Cat will summon out the Fallen of Elbaz. This is 10 negates. Look at this. This is all 10 negates. Like, you're gonna, you, you, you're gonna have so many, like, you have so many negates that you actually don't have stuff on the field. So you just keep your cards in hand until your opponent can out stuff. And now you're gonna draw again on your, on uh, their turn from uh, Rebranded. Now, look, let's say your turn comes along. Instead of playing Albion in this deck, you play, well, you could play Albion because of Branded stuff, but I play Alba Eletinus because Alba Eletinus will get you Instant Fusion. So on the end phase, you get Instant Fusion. In this scenario, it was mill, so it doesn't matter. But the combo recycles Kit Kalos. It puts Kit Kalos in the, back into the extra deck. Uh, your turn comes around now. You draw for a turn for Fenrir. Rebranded will trigger a sub drawing card. Magnema at their end phase will also get you a dragon. Like, you, you end on, like, when your turn starts, this is your board. Like, when your turn starts again. So, it's just absurd how, how broken Mana King Cat is. And the funny thing is, despite the fact that this is 10 negates, all you need is one Mana King Cat. Because the one mannequin, mannequin cat alone equals four interruptions by itself. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck list. I'm a PhD in Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Don't forget it. That's that's it. That's my new stick to the game plan. I'm a PhD in Yu-Gi-Oh. This is insane. So this the idea of this deck, it utilize, I'm still playing Nemesis Flag in this version. I think it's just such a fucking busted card. Uh, doesn't matter if you draw Flag or if you draw Escados. There's no real normal summons in this deck. You can even normal summon it. Because the Bisted cards, are always, something's always banished. Because of Sprite Smasher, something's always banished. Like, you always trigger Nemesis Flag by a special summon. So it's just a better Sprite Blue. Because your end board ends on Escados. Like, <laughs> this is fucking insane. Uh, the idea of this is that you kind of play, like, 18 one-card starters. And with all, and you play, look at these hand traps. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16 hand traps. Try and, you try and end on Smashers and Branded Beast. And you just get Mannequin Cat. Like, it's fucking broken, bro. Like, it's insane. And then going first, you put in even more traps for like some hand traps. And post side deck, you side in nine hand traps that are good versus every deck. So now post side deck, you have nine hand traps plus the 16, that's 23. And it's a perfect side out for the nine. Where if you're going second, you don't want uh, uh, non-hand trap cards. So you remove the four Nemesis cards going second. You remove Rebranded and Branded Beast at six. You remove two Bisted Lubelions. You just keep one. Uh, remove that too. Remove all three. Because the only Bisted cards you want are the hand traps. And that's nine cards. So you put in the nine hand traps that you have here. And that's 23 hand traps. And if you look at, you still have 15, 16, like you still have all your starters. You could, if you want, play a third Nimble Beaver. Uh, it's not bad. I'm like a second Nimble Angler. But Nimble Angler in this deck would force you to play Barricade Blocker, which I don't really want to play. Uh, and So if you hard draw Nimble Beaver, you just forego the sprint. It's okay. You, it doesn't matter. Uh, this deck's insane. Like it truly is. It, it's truly like broken. It can even play Dimension Shifter if you want. But because of Bisted stuff, I, I, I opt to play a secondary engine because the Albions, this is your end goal. And because Albaz properly fusion summons the Mirror Jade, you could Mannequin Cat again for the Mirror Jade to use Albion a second time to get another branded card. Like, it's so broken. The end result is just always a win. So this is the sprite version with a fuck ton of hand traps. You can play Runic in here very much so. I know it would be really, really powerful. It is, I do find that it is tough for sprite to clear boards with Runic. So if you were to play Runic in it, uh, I would probably remove the either the Bisted or the Nemesis stuff or something. I would keep uh, keep it probably a bigger Nimble Engine if you're playing Runic. And I would play one Wind-Up Kitten. My friend Abdul played this. Also turned out that first place YCS, Joshua Smith also played Wind-Up Kitten. It's a good card to clear stuff. And because Fallen of Albaz, just try not to use Gigantic Sprite. Uh, that's the, the, the thing with Starter and Gigantic Sprite is you have to save the Albaz for their turn then. Because then in that scenario, Albaz could also clear two interruptions if you didn't use Starter or Gigantic Sprite with Runic stuff. So Runic could be pretty good as well. Uh, that's for this. Now I'm going to show you guys the uh, Tier Limit version. This is the Tier Limit version, which is somehow fucking 40 cards. I don't even know how. You do not use Rhino Heart in this deck. Enchantress is also very, very good in this deck because it allows Nemesis and Malicious to be even stronger. But uh, there's just no space. And 
It does work out nice, Enchantress, but it, this is just too fucking broken, bro. I don't want to draw anything that's not, like, combo-related. This deck's insane. And so what this deck does is, instead of Rhino, you always try and go Enchant... Uh, sorry, you get Kikala to special Murley. So you're always milling 8, broken, and so you're always resolving your Bisted stuff. You get Griffin to set Smashers or Beast in Game 1, and then you go for Eradicator. Griffin is there more so for a Floodgate. So you try and end on the Floodgates of Griffin and Escados. That's literally the play with Mannequin Cat. And Mannequin Cat in this deck with Albaz, you're, you can make the space. And in this deck, instead of Algo, I need to search this. But you can very much play, play Albion instead. But because you prioritize with Sarly Safer, you prioritize, like, you, you would specifically with Malicious, or, or sorry, with Curious or Beatrice, send the Lubelion or Sarnier if it's not there, or Safer, and then you get the other one in your hand. So you're always getting access to the Bisted stuff, so you don't really need Albion for that. Uh, they, they're both absolutely broken. The, the side deck for this is a little different. Instead of hand traps, this version goes for Boyd Breakers. With Droll, the only hand trap, because it's also good against Flunder. So now, against, like, if you played stuff like Extreme Mode and Lava Golem, they're not good versus Flunder. In this way, you have, uh, like, nine cards that are busted against Flunder as well. So, ten, actually. So, they're both just insane. I highly recommend both, and they're some of my best creations yet. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys learned something from it, make sure to smash the subscribe button. There'll be more videos like this throughout the entire week. I'm PAG and Yu-Gi-Oh, that's it. Make sure to check out the beautiful playmats on TripGaming.com. They're absolutely beautiful. And get the beautiful sleeves down below. Smash the subscribe button. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.